Hug me, I'm cold. Don't die alone. First date simulator. This is a, per the author, special small game I made for New Year's Eve. Happy New Year, everyone. It is not New Year's Eve, but it is the new year, so I think it qualifies. Click to play. Sure. Click. Little human, the final day is upon us. It's a special night for you. After you fell on ice so hard you almost shattered your bottom. After a little throw up because you couldn't handle the stress, you're finally here on your very first date with the girl of your dreams. Okay, so, just off the bat, they said you're finally here on your first date with the girl of your dreams and, and the yellow one popped into existence. But actually, we're the blue one. Also, it started off by saying human, and they really don't look human, do they? Brr, cold. Don't blow it. Make a good first impression. Let's start with something simple. Click on the white neuron, guide it safely through your brain, and reach the orange neuron. Woo, 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 woo. No, this. And if you accidentally touch the sides, it blows up and you have to start over. Hey, I have something for you. Gives Rose. Now see, there's no reason why that needs to be in blue. Because that makes it seem like it's text. Like, not text. That it's dialogue. That it's something he's saying. But it's not. Happy final day! Oh, thank you. How did you get it? I thought shops closed weeks ago. Yeah, the final day. <laughs> this guy's not too bright, is he? But it's easy to steal now. Nobody cares. Abandoned shops everywhere. Almost a sentence. Then it's not really stealing. <laughs> right. It's a really nice touch. Didn't expect a rose from an app date. I prepared something too. Let's play four questions. Hey, I'm the one let's playing here. We're not going to have a let's play inside of another let's play. All right? We'll get to know each other quickly. Hope we make it before it's time. Four questions and then I promise you'll get at least a hug. Hugs are good for the cold, right? Why can't you write the word four out? Is it that the author forgot how to spell four and just decided to use the numeral? Sure. Okay, first question. Do you always give roses on your first dates? Did you just make it up? This is almost a non sequitur. Did you just make up that question? Oh my gosh, she's having a stroke. Remember, if someone's having a stroke, what you need to remember is fast. Face, arms, speech, and time. Face, have them try to smile. Does one side of their face droop? Arms, have them hold both of their arms up in front of them. If one arm starts to fall while the other one stays put. Speech, have them try to say something. If the speech comes out garbled, it could be signs of a stroke. And time, if any of these signs are positive or you still think the person might be having a stroke, call your relevant emergency number, which in America is 911 and in other countries is weird stuff like 999. You okay? I should activate the emergency response system. <laughs> You must answer first. No, if you're having a stroke, time is the most important thing. I can't talk. It's against the rules. That <laughs> what did I get into? A girl's having a stroke and she won't let me call the emergency response system until after I answer her stupid questions. Choose one, but hurry, anxiety creeps in. I never... You know what? I'm going to always give a rose on my first date. Let's do that. Wee. So that is a very slow-moving um, pink wall of anxiety. And 
Um, it moves very, very slowly right now, but it'll actually start moving faster later. So I'm going to let it creep just a little bit further and done. Brr. I always give a rose on the first date. I don't know if my voice is the same. Oh, one of those desperates doing everything to impress. No. That's okay. Every week a new girl? No, come on, why? Just if I get a chance, I'll give a rose. I'm messing with you. It's nice. You use an app to find someone for a night and you expect dirty jokes, not flowers. So you're really not doing it right now. I'm gonna need you to deliver. I can always make one. A dirty joke? I'm glad you're not a weirdo perv. You're just a regular perv. I actually like this romantic stuff. Feels like a romantic comedy. I'm going to interrupt our conversation right now just to let you know, the first time I played this game, I gave the other answer in that I never give roses on the first date and the dialogue is different. I just hit my head on the microphone. So, when you're playing through this game, um, you might need to play it more than once to get the different dialogue options. Comfortable. Knowing there'll always be a happy ending. Really? Oh, that offended her. But fair's fair. One thing about me. You youngsters might call me. Wow, didn't think I'd be so embarrassed. A nerd. That's okay. It's not deadly. <laughs> I've been vaccinated. I don't know about recently. Oh, there we go. Why, why youngsters? You're at least three years younger, right? No, I'm your age. Did you even read my profile? Uh-oh, now we got her. Now this is like a dialogue um, kind of indicator, but it also is kind of like a squiggle line of embarrassment, consternation. Okay, I was in a hurry and I might have forgotten to check your age. But look at that! We're the same age! Age buddies! High five! And what if I turned out to be like 30 years older? Well then you would be a weirdo perv. Hitting on a girl 30 years younger than you? I guess if you're 90 and she's 60? what? When would 30 years younger be appropriate? We wouldn't be age buddies. Yeah, can I get a refund on this fact? No, against the spirit of the game. Wow, so this guy <laughs> is rather sarcastic. Three questions to go. You spend holidays with people or no? What kind of question is that? You spend holidays with people or no? That doesn't e Do you mean something along the lines of, do you spend holidays with people or no? There are certain words in English that are required. <laughs> Did you piss off everyone so much they don't want to spend holidays with you? Hey, you don't need to be <laughs> doing any kind of commentary on my commentary, lady. We already talked about the let's play in a let's play. What? Don't be like that. What's with this question? That, that last sentence ended in a question mark and a period. <laughs> Translation? What's with your folks? Uh... All right, I'm gonna tell the truth. Wah, wah, wah. I'm gonna tell the truth because it's a much harder one to do. Ah, uh, no, dang it! Now I messed up. Brrr. Come on, easy question. I know, let's just skip this one. Really? I feel bad that I missed that because I did that perfectly the first time I played this game. Yeah, let's not waste time on this. Okay, let's move on then. I mean, to be fair, asking about someone's parents on the second question on your date, that's pretty dang quick. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Isn't that against the spirit of the game? Actually, he could do that a lot more sarcastically. Isn't that against the spirit of the game? With air quotes. He's doing air quotes. I love dogs, and I don't know how to speak such that my word... I love dogs! Yeah, that I think is exactly what that's supposed to be. Thought. Of course she's not listening. 
See, I feel like you need to be as sarcastic as humanly possible for this character. Okay, that's actually cute. You have one? You have one? <laughs> you have one? As in, you only have one dog? Or, you have one? Or, if you want to go with our sarcastic thing, you have one? See why inflection is so important? You can read this literally by putting the emphasis on the on each of the different words in turn, you change the meaning of the sentence completely. No, never had one. So how do you know you're a dog person? I want to pet all the dogs, even when they bark. That's so adorable. Who's a good puppy? You're, 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 you're such a good puppy. If only I could pet them, they'd stop being so angry. That's dangerous. Don't do that. They never bite me. How many angry dogs did you pet? Let's count. One angry dog. Ah, ah, ah. Two angry dogs. No. One. But he was sleeping. Well, then he... How do you know he's an angry dog if he's asleep? I'm not sure that counts. I just did the counting for you. I got to two. How high do you want me to go? It does! And look at that! Half the question's done and we still have time. So, those keen-eyed observers may notice that there's a certain glow in the air and that it's been getting closer and closer throughout the video. So, how come you use the app? I get, pe I get people use it for sleepovers, but you don't seem like the type. Also, sleepover in this sentence is most assuredly a euphemism. Alright, let's tell the truth and let's not screw it up. Around, up, around, up, around. Bing! Got it. Brr, cold. You already said that at the beginning of this. Also, the last time I screwed this one up, so I get to actually see what happens this time. Uh... So... <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't the best question. What? I got it right! And it was pretty... Uh, let's move on. I still have the most important question for you. Really? That's not against the rules? Again, that could be totally sarcastic. No, no. Let's just move on. No time. So what's next? Oh, it's a hard one. The last one. What do you think about penguins? Uh... I'm serious. Alright, let's see if we can get... Uh, what? What? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that on video, but I don't think I pulled my mouse right through the corner, did I? I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I just immediately broke it, but... I was going to give it my honest effort that time. I just had it. Hmm. Well, that's four questions done. I have to say, I... Maybe it's me, but... I expected a bit more. You're an idiot. I just don't know how to answer. Who asks a question like, What do you think about penguins? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Or is it, you're sorry? I wasted your time. You're damn right you wasted my time. And now it's over. Eh. I just thought I could spend the final day with someone. What about your folks? Isn't it obvious? My folks are dead. I killed them. I don't have any folks. I'm an orphan. I don't have anyone to spend the final day with. I thought maybe it would be fun to spend tonight with someone. Maybe try a dating app. What did I think? It just got awkward as usual. A little bit. But we had some fun. It's not the most fantastic fun you could imagine, but it's okay. It's the final day kind of fun. Heck yeah it is. It's not about the amount. It's about the connection with other people around you. Yeah, we're really connecting with a lot of our fellow quote-unquote humans. And I think we did fine on that front. 
I feel like you're not really connected here. Ha! <laughs> That's so awful. But it's okay. Not like it matters anymore. I wasted this chance, and in the end, I'm alone as always. <gasps> Dude, that is so cruel. Okay, how about a quick new question? I'll give you a connection. I promise. I'm gonna connect my fist with your face! No, you don't hit women like that. Can we just watch the end in silence? Nope. I don't want to watch the end in silence. And what do you want? And I mean really, WHAT DO YOU REALLY WANT? I want to be honest. Unfortunately, there's no anxiety, so you can't get away from answering the question. I'm gonna sit here for a couple more seconds to see if something special could happen. But nope, nothing's gonna happen. And I'm just gonna have to swing this over. I want to be honest. I lured you out here to kill you right before the final the right before the final thing happens. You're asking all these questions and I just want to make a good impression. Stressful. Nobody says stuff like that. Just single ugh. Are you serious? Did you seriously just say stressful as an entire sentence? Did you look up recently? It's the final day. It doesn't matter anymore. I don't know. I was always trying to please everyone and live up to their expectations. Because that's the optimal way. Because you never know when you'll need their help. And now that it doesn't matter anymore... I guess I just got a logic error inside me and I can't deal with all this. So that's how you feel, huh? It's been a uh, long since... Uh, wow, what the heck is going on with my computer? It's been a long time since I talked with someone. I mean, sincerely, from the heart. There was always something at stake. Something I should guard, or something I should get. Made me always worried I might say the wrong thing. But now it's gone. I feel nothing inside. I'm dead. So there. I want a human connection. I don't know why you want a human connection. You're not a human. You're a bird. An honest one. I don't want to pretend anymore. You're pretending you're a human. You're a human. Wow, that was quite a vent. I'm not sure I get it at all. I'm not sure I get it all. But I think I know how you feel. A little warm, kind of like your face is melting off? That's going to sound really stupid, but I'm glad we found each other. Okay, so, no. Throughout this entire thing, there's been issues with, like, sentence structure a little bit, but it's on purpose. He's trying to emulate how people talk. All of the spelling has been fine. The grammar, with the exception of the how people talk sentences, has been fine. But here... That's going to sound really stupid, but I'm glad we found each other. You're supposed to say, this is going to sound really stupid. When you say that's going to sound really stupid, you're referencing his statement, not hers. Wait, it's not the whole truth yet. Oh, what's still left? Spill it out! Okay, the truth is... Penguins are weird. Penguins. Penguins are weird. You're stupid. I knew this was the most important question. Hug me. I'm cold. Hug. Thank you. Happy final day. And then the meteor crushed them and killed them forever. Game by Rarikos, music by Incomptech. So yeah, there's a little bit of variation based on which answers you give. Um, I don't know if there's all that much. And man, I would love to see if someone is able to finish that penguin one in one go. The major problem with this game, uh, the only 
thing that I have a problem with is that it's so slow to get through the text. I, you can hold the mouse down. I didn't do that for this video, but if you click while, if you hold the mouse down while they're talking, it will speed up, but it's not nearly fast enough, especially for a game that you want me to play through multiple times. If there was a checkpoint system, I guess I could deal with the slower text. Um, but failing that, I want the ability to just kind of skip through some of the text, like instantly. Like if they're talking and I click, all of it is automatically on screen and then I click again. And that way I can just click through their text um, to try the skill-based games um, and, you know, to skip through the various dialogue options. Skip through, not what I mean. To go through the various dialogue options to see if there's any differences. Anyway, this has been Hug Me, I'm Cold, which is... Uh, the title of the game on Newgrounds does not have a comma, but the uh, line spoken at the end of the video, as you saw, uh, the end of the game, does have the comma, is a decent game, and I enjoy it. And until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>